Artic 1 will get an air compressor and it will sit here in the tail of the bike. I will need the compressed air because I want to inflate and deflate my tires during the ride to the North Pole. I also want to use the air to regulate the height of the bike. I do that with an air shock, a right tech shock wave and on the front I use a Firestone sleeve. A company in the Netherlands called Brabant Custom helped me with advice and to find all the right products. I took a Thomas air compressor and modified it slightly. Normally it sits on a base with rubbers like this. I took this one off and on this side was the same with two rubbers. I took that one off and cut it in the shape of the compressor. On that same plate I made this brace to fit it in the rear of the bike. I also made a little air tank, or well, actually I didn't make it, a friend of mine, a neighbor here, he did the welding, Peter, and P plus steel delivered the material, it's from stainless. The pressure in the air tank is regulated by those two pressure switches. This one is for the low pressure, this one is for the high pressure. If the pressure is too low, the compressor will start. If the pressure is high enough, the compressor will stop. I can regulate the pressure with a screw in here. I had a plate welded on the frame. The air tank is fitted in here. After that we take the compressor, connect it, the air hose, and then we put it in here. Connect the electricity and that's it. Once the complete tail from Arctic 1 is back on the bike, it's still relatively easy to take the compressor out in case I need to work on it. Once I put it back, I put the pillion seat back on, it can go nowhere. Not that I need a pillion seat, but anyway. Having a compressor on board makes it possible for me to lower the front 16 centimeters, which is a little over 6 inches. And lower the back 25 centimeters, which is around 10 inches. And then up again.